our friends into the club. I already explained it to you, Tommy. A club isn't really a club unless some people aren't allowed in. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst things Angelica Pickles has done. They'll take you home and keep you, and you'll never see your mama, your dad, or your dumb old dog ever again. For this list, we'll be looking at the worst misdeeds carried out by Angelica throughout the Rugrats franchise. Plot points will be discussed, so beware of potential spoilers. What do you think was the worst thing Angelica ever did? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Attempting to take the baby's Halloween candy. Curse of the Werewolf. When Angelica wants something from Tommy and his friends, she often uses fear to manipulate them into helping her. Since she's older than they are, the babies tend to trust her because they assume she's more knowledgeable. How come we get candy, Angelica? Cause you go trick-or-treating! Trick-or-treat? Smell my feet? Give me something good to eat? <laughs> well, it's either that or they're afraid of what will happen if they question her. Whatever you dress up as, you turn into for real. You mean... That's right, Finster. Tomorrow, you're gonna turn into a werewolf. In this episode, Angelica tries to convince them that they're in danger of transforming into whatever they're dressed as for Halloween. <laughs> she then claims she could prevent this from happening if they hand over their treats. Since I'm a princess and all, I can turn you back into a little crybaby if... If what? If you babies give me all your trick-or-treat candy. Sure, she later admits she made it up, but with this threat, Angelica shows that she's shameless enough to literally take candy from a baby. Now that is just cruel. You mean that was all a lie? And you fell for it. <laughs> hey, that means we don't got to give you our candy. Number 9. Stealing Chucky's Glasses. Chucky loses his glasses. Chucky is the most fearful of the babies, so of course, Angelica absolutely loves toying with him. Now, up against the wall! During a game of hide-and-seek, she forces him to remove his glasses, and then purposely steals them when he's not looking. Two, three, six, eight, seven, three, five, ten. <laughs> this puts Chucky through undue stress and trauma. as he struggles trying to search for them in the rain, understandably getting frustrated with his inability to see. Slow down, Spike! <laughs> Too bad you don't have these! Not only is Angelica's treatment of Chucky sadistic, it's also actually dangerous. Leaving the two-year-old unattended and unable to see could have easily gotten him hurt. Or worse. My eyes! Now I'm never gonna see again! Number 8. Faking a Leg Injury Angelica breaks a leg. After you bring the bouillabaisse, you can fluff my pillows. Anything for you, my darling. I'll wait on you night and day. In addition to manipulating the babies, Angelica also likes to manipulate the grown-ups. Oh, Angelica, oh, what happened? Oh, my leg! Oh, I think it's broke! In a bid for attention, she pretends to break her leg, getting her Uncle Stu and Aunt Dee Dee to tend to her every need while they're looking after her. Aunt Dee Dee, I wanted a cold drink. Oh, that is a cold drink. It isn't really cold. Late up, she makes excessive demands, like asking for chocolate pudding in the middle of the night. Stu, what are you doing? Making chocolate pudding. It's four o'clock in the morning. Why on earth are you making chocolate pudding? Because I've lost control of my life. For Stu, taking care of Angelica and satisfying her demands takes its toll on him. Here's your pudding, Angelica. Oh, that's okay, Uncle Stu. I'm not hungry anymore. However, at the end of the episode, Angelica has to help take care of her mom Charlotte, whose leg is broken for real. Hopefully that teaches her a lesson about taking advantage of others. Probably not. Bro! Angelica! I need you now! Angelica, do you know how to make chocolate pudding? <laughs> Number 7. Breaking Mr. Fluffles. The Trial. Mr. Fluffles is a clown-shaped lamp that Tommy really loves. Open up, Tommy! <gasps> When it's found broken, Angelica suggests that they hold a trial to find the responsible party. Tommy, you sit in this chair. Since it was your clown lamp, you get to be the judge. That may sound like a good idea, but of course, she's the one who broke it and isn't planning on taking the fall. Since I'm the smartest person here, I'm gonna be the persecutor. So she forces her way into the role of prosecutor and tries to pin the crime on the other babies. So you ran away, and you didn't stop running until you heard a crash. 
how you broke the lamp. No! So basically, not only does Angelica hurt Tommy by wrecking something that he loves, she then tries to wreck his friendships too. Even when she ultimately does confess, there's no remorse in her voice. That's right, I did it. And I'd break it again if I had the chance. But you know what? There's nothing you babies can't do about it, cause you can't talk! Number 6. Using humiliating pictures for her website. Fools rush in. This entry covers an episode from All Grown Up, a follow-up to Rugrats, that depicts all the characters as teens and preteens. If you're planning any new ways to humiliate yourself, I'd love the scoop. Ta! In it, Angelica isn't quite the little terror she was at three years old. But don't get us wrong, she's still herself, and definitely isn't above doing questionable things for selfish purposes. Why tell when a picture's worth a million words? Case in point, in this episode, she decides to post humiliating photos of others on her website to boost traffic. This will be the gossip story of the decade, full of good old raw humiliation. <laughs> <laughs> One of the people she targets is her cousin Tommy. This is a stunning violation of privacy, especially when you consider how permanent something put online can be. Which of these do you think is better Ask Angelica material? This or this? So even after all these years, Angelica remains capable of being, well, the worst. Number 5. Scaring Chucky over a watermelon seed. The inside story. Hey kids, eating watermelon is something you can't do till you're a little older. Wouldn't want to swallow a seed, would ya? <laughs> after Chucky accidentally swallows a watermelon seed, He's worried he's made a fatal mistake. Angelica does nothing to ease his mind, scaring him with the urban legend that says swallowing the fruit seed will cause it to grow and explode. It'll grow into a whole watermelon, and it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger and then... Kaboom! <laughs> Even though she seemingly believes it, it's a horrible thing to make a child worry about, especially someone as anxious as Chucky, but she gets even more devious. Really, really? Little. Then we can go inside Chucky and get the seed. How are we supposed to do that, Angelica? We use a lazy bee. Indeed, she convinces the babies they should go inside Chucky to neutralize the seed before it goes kaboom. What those babies don't know is that I'm not going to get rid of that old seed. I'm going to make it grow. In reality, though, she wants to make it grow. Thankfully, this evil plan only plays out in a dream or should we say nightmare, sequence, but still. Number four, arranging for Chaz to marry Coco LaBouche. Rugrats in Paris, the movie. Why should I give you anything? Gee, I don't know. Cause I could accidentally tell someone why you wanna marry Mr. Chucky's dad. The 2000s Rugrats movie sees Angelica helping Coco LaBouche in her attempt to marry Chaz in exchange for some favors, including getting her own parade float. Watching ponies, With matching ponies, we might add. The problem is, Coco has a cold heart and is mean to children, so she's not exactly a good fit to be Chaz's wife or Chucky's mom. But naturally, that doesn't bother Angelica, because all she cares about is what's in it for her. I helped that lady trick your daddy into marrying her! It should be noted, however, that this is one of the few times where the character actually redeems herself. That's one of the worstest things you've ever done, Angelica! I know it was bad, even for me. Sometimes, I just can't help myself. She feels bad about selling out Chucky and his dad, and ultimately sets things right. She was gonna marry Mr. Chucky's daddy just so she could be president! Listen, you traitor! Now, Miss LaBouche, uh -oh. you are dismissed. Number 3. Lying to Tommy about family reunions. Family reunion. One sadistic hobby of Angelica's is to fill the babies with anxiety over normal, harmless things. What's a family reunion? Family reunion, stupid. At a family reunion in Iowa, she tells Tommy that these events are designed for adults to take children from their parents and raise them in their homes. You mean they want to take me away from my mom and dad forever? Yeah, and maybe even longer than that. Think like a kid exchange of sorts. Tommy believes Angelica, especially when he misinterprets a grown-up showing him affection as wanting to take him. That must be little Tommy, if he isn't just a spitting image of stew. All oh, their pickles all right, Edie. Y'all wanna come live with me, little fella? Though Angelica originally doesn't believe her own lie, she starts to be convinced. You'll never see your mom or your dad or your dumb old dog ever again. <laughs> 
just goes to show you the dangers of being dishonest and how deception can catch up with you. You're right about that reunion. I thought I was just making it up. Making it up? Number two, stealing the planet atomizer. Visitors from outer space. Your eyewitness reports. Those aliens got weapons that can blow up a planet with a push of a button. After hearing his grandpa bring up a news story about extraterrestrials, Tommy has a strange dream. In it, he and the gang, including Angelica, find themselves aboard an alien spaceship. One of the aliens, who resembles Stu, shows off the planet atomizer he invented, explaining that it has the power to blow up, well, planets. See that asteroid there? You just point the Stuvan 5000 at it, press this button, and... Voila! No more planet! Angelica gets her hands on the atomizer, and as you might expect, she's reckless with it. Later, she's seen obliterating planets with it, casually laughing at the destruction she's leaving in her wake. That one? Go for it! We would have ranked this higher if it hadn't been a dream. It's so nefarious, though, that we had to include it. Come on, you guys, we gotta help her! Why? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Stealing Chaz's folk dance CD, Chucky's Wonderful Life. When Chucky thinks he's lost the CD, he doubts his self-worth. My dad came in and saw it was gone and he got all upset. Oh no. And then I blame Tommy, Phil, and Lil even though it wasn't really their fault. Now everyone's mad at me. Telling Chucky he's becoming a rhinoceros. Rhinoceritis. Leave Chucky alone! It's the worstest disease there is. First you get real grumpy. Then your skin turns all gray and scaly. Then your feet all grow together like hooves. Have birds right on your back, and you eat grass, and then finally you grow this big ugly horn right in the middle of your forehead. Wow! Faking her doll's ransom for candy, Ransom of Cynthia, Angelica takes advantage of the baby's goodwill. I just found this picture of my dear beloved Cynthia with a note saying she's been... 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 She's been what, Angelica? What, what, what? Kid lap! Throwing Tommy's ball over the fence, barbecue story. Trying to retrieve the toy puts the gang in danger. If you can't be nicer than that, I guess you'll never see your dumb old ball again. Trying to take Chucky's teeth. Tooth or dare, we only have one word. Yikes. I'm getting those teeth if it's the last thing I ever do! Ah! Ah! Come back here with those teeth! <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Pitting Tommy Against His Friends – Tommy and the Secret Club In this episode, Angelica forms a secret club and holds a contest to make one of the babies a member, no more no less. You mean we're not all gonna be in the club? That's right, I'm only letting in one of you. Hmm, now who's it gonna be? She chooses Tommy, and we find out that being part of her exclusive club isn't all it's cracked up to be. She's very controlling of him, making him do everything she says and ensuring he doesn't talk to his other friends. Wanna play with us? I can't. I'm doing official secret club stuff. Tommy! Remember rule number 46! No talking to non-secret club members! This puts a strain on his bonds with Chucky, Phil, and Lil. You wanna know a really neat secret? Yeah! The way Angelica treats Tommy here illustrates how truly horrific she can be. I think Tommy's changed. Yeah, I guess we're not good enough for him now that he's in Angelica's club. What could be worse than messing with the baby's adorable friendship? Quit your stupid club! Quit! You can't quit! I can and I am! Chucky was right! This club is just no fun! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.